Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. Let me know how you are doing. I have been gone for quite a bit of time and I wanted to do a kind of a chilled video that's sort of just a few minutes, a little bit of space, just to kind of talk about things that don't really matter. Just talk about like makeup stuff and just things that make us feel calm. So I'm gonna share my kind of hair routine and my makeup routine that I've been doing. And yeah, just have a little bit of space just to chill because this is the kind of stuff that I've been watching a lot recently because I think the world's so loud. It's nice to just have videos that are just kind of chilled. So that's what I wanted to create today. I do, however, have to address something, not something that I thought that I'd have to address, but there were some rumors going around, um, but I'm going to address them and then we're going to get out of the way and then get back to this niceness and just chilled, chilledness. So um, yeah, let me just get that out of the way first. Basically, I took time off for health reasons to kind of deal with some stuff and over the weekend, somebody had written comments saying that they'd heard rumors that, I have to be careful how I say this because you can get in trouble for saying stuff, certain stuff, but there was a rumor going around that I was no longer here and that I had passed. That's actually happening to people all the time and I felt it was just so disrespectful just to make up something like that. Um, to, to, I felt angry for all of those people and you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter that it wasn't true And then I'm sitting here in front of you. It doesn't you know, it, it doesn't make it any easier Not that it doesn't matter, but it doesn't make it any easier to to, to read um, I think I would have been able to handle it better had it not been that I am, you know, dealing with with um, health issues and and you know, that's always in the back of your, your mind, you know, the fear of, of that um and yeah it just it wasn't nice it wasn't nice to read it was very difficult to read and i didn't realize it was going to have such an effect on me and i don't think that person did either i think they were just saying it to be not nice and so yeah this was a very hurtful thing to say but it was just extra extra like that's not a word but it affected me more than i thought that it was going to affect me and i also i, I want to say a huge thank you to to people who message me and, and text and emails and stuff. I appreciate it so much. Me, me and Davy, we were getting messages. I haven't been able to get back to everybody yet, but I just want to say a collective thank you because um, I felt really stupid for getting so upset about it because I know it's not true. I'm sitting here, I'm fine, but it really, it really upset me. And I just want to say how much I appreciate the people who were like, of course it's going to upset you. And it was a terrible thing and validating that feeling. So I didn't feel so stupid getting so upset about it. Cause I'm, I, it was, it, it upset me massively. Like, I also want to say to Bella, because Bella, um, she's one of my subscribers, viewers, and one of my friends, and she was actually the one who saw it and and messaged me. I really feel so sorry for 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 what she went through, because she actually was like, wait, what? Like, you know, this person said it to her, and she was like, wait a minute, and I, you know, that that's a very upsetting thing. First of all, for someone just to blurt out to you, like, oh, I think this person, you know, that's that's not nice. I just want to send a big hug to, to Bella and to everybody else and thank her for, for letting me know what was going on. To the person who said it, you know who you are and you know why you did it. And, and you know what? You did it and you didn't realize the extent it was going to affect and I can forgive you for not realizing the extent of the upset that you were going to cause somebody. And I, can, I forgive you for that. It brought up the saying, and I'm going to read it because I'm going to get it wrong if I don't. Everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Be kind, always. And that's one thing I always say at the end of my videos. I always, most of the time I'll say like, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I don't know if you have apologized, I, I haven't looked, but I forgive you for not realizing the impact, the full extent of the impact of your words. But at the same time, you did say those things, you did make up that, and that's not very nice. I'm gonna draw a line under it. And we're gonna just get back to the video that I wanted to create. I didn't wanna have to do all of this. This feels really, really weird. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go make myself a cup of tea and then I'll be, I'll be back and we'll continue and we won't discuss this anymore. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. It's really windy outside. It's so bright, but it's like stormy. I'm probably gonna put this on a premiere and we like to chat Usually me and Davy are chatting to people. I don't know which side it's on. Hi to everybody in the chat. I'm sending you guys a little heart. Oh. 
<laughs> a little heart. If you want, you can put a heart in the chat. I'm sending you guys a little heart. Yeah, that's that's a very long intro. I apologize. <laughs> Let's get started and I'll, I'll show you guys um, how I get ready. Let's get started. I always start off with my hair. I wash it at night and then I let it air dry. So in the next morning I can use heat and I don't feel guilty about using heat because I haven't used a hair dryer or anything like that. And that's what this is. I'm trying to get my natural curl back. I used to have really curly hair when I was a kid, but it wasn't popular to have curly hair in the 90s. And so we all straightened it. And then my hair is kind of just remembering it, <laughs> what its natural texture is supposed to be like. Also, I wanna mention, Obviously my hair, if you don't have my hair texture, this this probably would be very boring to you. So I apologize. You guys would share um, what you like to do for your hair. I love learning about products other people use. My sister has been like teaching me a lot of different things about hair. She's more knowledgeable than me. I haven't seen my sister in ages. So sister, look, I got, I got a little bit of curl going. Are you proud of me? So what I use is I use two different things. I use the L'Oreal Steamer Pod and I use some Velcro rollers. The L'Oreal Steamer Pod, I can't tell you how unbelievable this hair tool is. My one I've had for years, it's a bit grimy looking. I've got tape in certain areas, but this tool is the best thing I've ever used. If this broke right now, like literally right now, I would immediately stop filming and go and, and order a new one. It's the best hair tool ever. It will give you shine, it will give you volume. You can use it to curl your hair, straighten your hair, giving you that kind of salon blow dry effect. I just, I love it. Like I'm not trying to, I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that. I'm just telling you it's brilliant. It's expensive and I'm very careful with my money, but even, even me, I would be like, no, I'm getting this if it broke. Fingers crossed, it's not gonna break anytime soon, but it's awesome. Aside from it being just brilliant, I also just really like the process of using it because you put water in it, that's why it's called a steamer. <laughs> and there's just something about the steam that I find just really calming. Like I have, I have a steamer mop and I also find that really calming. Like pasta, you know the steam? That's really calming. I love steam. Anybody else like steam? Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, and then my second hair tool is super cheap compared to that. And it's Velcro rollers, which I should have cleaned before I showed on camera because there's like hairs on them. But yes, Velcro rollers. Ooh. If you have my hair texture, get yourself some Velcro rollers. If you like your hair straight, get the bigger ones and they will add volume, but they won't make your hair curly, okay? If you like your hair kind of wavy, go for the medium. If you like your hair very curly, go for the smaller one. But I like it to have some volume up here, so I use bigger ones up here, then medium, and then small, just because the ends of my hair can be kind of straight. And then my other hair tool is this brush. This brush is the Knotty. It gets rid of all your knots in your hair and it adds shine. Like, look at that. Compare the sides, like look at that. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to work on my bangs, take all my bangs away, and then I go around the hairline and I just take it the little, a little bit just around my hairline. Because what you don't want to do when you're using roller is have it too tight and then you're going to get like little kinks in your hair because the roller is like holding your hairline in, in the wrong position. So I take just a very small section out and I just like bobby pin this to the side. I like to make sure the lines are quite clean as well. I take this section like that. When I'm bringing it through, I like to kind of do a little swish just at the bottom, just to add that little curve. It actually makes your hair look a lot thicker. Then I take the large roller and we're not gonna roll underneath, we're actually gonna roll back. When our hair falls, it's gonna fall like this. Take a section behind that. That's gonna roll in the opposite way, so it's gonna roll forward. First one rolls back and then the rest all roll forward. I'm gonna have to do a full video on how I do do this in more detail because I know a lot of you were like, what are you saying, Sinead? <laughs> a kind of a strange kind of mohawk. It seems like a lot of work. Showing it on camera, I'm sure people are like, that's too much work to be doing in the morning. It just feels kind of chilling to me. Just like, you know, taking section by section and popping it in the roller. So I'm gonna work on the bottom section now and I split the hair into three, a back and two sides. I'm gonna split the hair into two. And yes, I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Don't judge me. Even though I have separated the two sections in order to use the tool, I still just use one roller. I want to turn this off so it kind of cools down a little bit and then just do my little baby hairs. So that is how I do my hair. It usually takes me about like 10 minutes and then that's kind of just the start of my day. The next thing that I have to do is a little weird. I like to go and take a bath with my rollers in. Yeah, if I could wake up and take a shower and then dry my hair and then style it, but that's too much for my body to cope with. So because of my JHS, I find baths are just really calming on like my, um, 
my joints. I leave the rollers in because I feel like the steam, again, steam, seems to seal in the hairstyle a little bit more. It's a great alternative to having a shower, blow drying, and then styling your hair. If that's too much for you, taking a little, a little bath with your rollers in starts you off in the right way. So for my, my, my spoonies out there, give it a try. I hope that it helps you guys out as much as it helps me. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back. It's just a great way to start your day with a little bath. Seriously, especially in the winter. Okay, so I am out of the bath. I've just popped in my hair extensions with the last kind of few rolls. I just took them out and popped my hair extensions in. And the reason I do this is because my hair always looks really flat on camera. It's the same with um, eyelashes. Like the eyelashes that I wear on camera are like way fuller than what I would need in real life. You know, the camera adds 10 pounds. Well, it takes that 10 pounds from your hair. That's where it gets it from. That's not true. So I popped in, it's just two clips clips in the back. And I'm gonna put a little bit of um, makeup on my face. I've already done a little cleanse. If you wanna see my skincare routine, it's really basic. I'll like link it up here and in the description box. And I've just done a little bit of that, put a little bit of moisturizer on. And then I'm gonna be using these two products, which I am obsessed with. I think they're brilliant. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow after my makeup. But for like my prep, I use the primer. So this is the face primer of the All Nighter Urban Decay Ultra Glow combination of these two, ooh, awesome. Completely clear gel and it feels quite sticky. So it really holds the makeup. And then wait until you see the setting spray. I hope it shows up on camera because this setting spray, best setting spray ever. I do wanna say that if you have taken a bath or a shower or anything like that and you're gonna go do your makeup, make sure your skin has come back to kind of a reasonable temperature because if it's too hot, the makeup's gonna sit and then it's going to and you're gonna get like really uneven kind of patchiness. So just let it come back to normal before you go in with any products. So I'm just gonna leave that primer kind of set along my skin for a little bit. And I wanna talk about brushes. And the reason I wanna talk about this is because I noticed that there was a sale on and I thought I would let you guys know about it because I love, love these brushes. Now I actually don't have the set. I just have these brushes individually. So they're all pink and gold. I just don't have this in the pink and gold. I only have it in the gold, but they come in a set. And at the moment there's 33% off. And you can also use my discount code for I think an extra 20% off at checkout. So originally I want to talk about this brush. This is the F01, but it's out of stock at the moment. So I will do a video on that once it comes back in stock, but hold on because if you're looking for a set, this is a really great set. In here we have the F01, which is my favorite blush brush, the F36, which I use for applying mineral foundation, like powder foundation, or you can use it for highlighter or bronzer or contour or whatever. All of these brushes are multi, multi-purpose, by the way. This is the F43, which I actually really like for powder, powder foundation, because it's dense enough to pick it up and then it kind of pushes it into the skin. Kind of similar to using a powder puff in a way, but it's a brush. And then of course, the EO1. The EO1 is my, my favorite, I use it all the time. So the fact that it's, these come together, like these three would be my top picks. This one's a great brush as well, but these ones would be my most used. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that if you're wanting to upgrade and get some brushes, plus they're pink. So maybe you're gonna treat yourself for Valentine's Day. You know, maybe. And I'm gonna use them today to show you guys how they're used. So I have been kind of swapping in and out the different products that I'm using for like coverage. So most of the time I've just been using a little bit of concealer and this is the Essence Camouflage Concealer. And I love this because it gives me such amazing coverage. I have it in the shade, shade Warm Sand and it's pale enough for me, which says something, which is very unusual. I never find a concealer that works for me and this one does. Then for foundation, I've either been using, well, there's, there's a few that I've been using, but I like the It Cosmetics one. This is Your Skin But Better foundation. And then also the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix Powder foundation. It's a pressed powder. I cannot find any mineral loose powder foundations. L'Oreal have discontinued the one that I absolutely love. So this is kind of my alternative. Tried a bunch of different ones and this would be my favorite, but I just wish that some brand would come out with like a mineral foundation. I That's pale enough for me too. That's, that's my problem. So I'm just gonna start off with a little bit of concealer just to add a bit of coverage. I'm just using my fingertips to tap that out. You can use any of those brushes really, but I'm just gonna use my fingertips. Once my concealer is blended in, I'm then gonna take the powder and I'm just gonna take the F41 for a second. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the powder very lightly to set that concealer. 
we never want too much powder around the eyes because it can look really, really heavy because it's so delicate there. So see how it's a really soft, kind of fluffy brush and it's also kind of tapered. It's just gonna apply a very, very sheer layer of powder and that's what we want. And then we can go in with the F43 and use this to press the pressed foundation in to the skin and it's gonna give us a lot more coverage. Think of this as instead of using a, a sponge or you know those little, I think this one came with a sponge. Think of this as like a brush version of a powder puff. I like the coverage that I get from this and how kind of quick and easy it is just to kind of put on my face. Even like the sheerest amount gives you just that that little bit of coverage. I really want to try the Fenty Beauty, their, their new powder foundation. I, I don't know anything about it. If anyone's tried it, let me know. And I'm not sure about the texture and stuff, so I'm gonna have a look. But um, so far, this one's been, been working out pretty well. But this concealer is what you need in your life. The camouflage concealer, go and get it. It's I think it's like 350 or something like that. Amazing. And also NARS foundation, they just came out with a new one and I'm gonna do a whole video on it because it's incredible. But these are the ones that I've been wearing the most. So that gives me like a decent amount of coverage. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of that powder just on my eyes, on the lid. And I'm using the EO1 to do that. And this will just brighten up the lid just that little bit. I can bring it up towards the brows. Speaking of brows, I did do my brows off camera and I wanna do a full video on it because um, it's a bit weird. So <laughs> I've actually been using a liquid liner for my brows, a really, really fine one. This is Winging It by Blank Canvas Cosmetics and it's got this like really fine tip on it and it's just great for doing like fake hairs. And then I've also been using this. It's like a, a primer by YSL and it goes on pink, but then it goes clear and it's like glue for your lashes. But I've been using it on my brows, which probably isn't a great thing, but I have been using it on my brows and it just really locks them in place. It's the best clear mascara in the world. You know, usually the clear mascaras are too liquidy, too kind of watery. They don't hold. This one holds. If you don't want to wear mascara, but you want a lift and you want definition, this this, you need to get it, but also it's like glue for your brows. So I use it all the time. Like if I'm not wearing any makeup, I'll still put this on my lashes and I'll put it through my brows. It's awesome, but yeah, I've been, <laughs> I've been using this to create little hairs because my eyebrows are black. I wouldn't recommend it, but I would recommend it because it's awesome. But I did those off camera. I wanna finish off the eyes. Um, what I've been doing recently is just using like nothing like major, I've just been using like a, um, like a cream, like a cream eyeshadow. And I really like this one. This is by Charlotte. Tilbury, Tilbury is the shade Dark Pearl and I just apply a little bit right at my lash line and then just smudge it in. And I like how it just goes on. It's almost like a aubergine bronze and it's just great if you don't wanna to make too much of an effort but you still want a little bit of kind of smokiness. I just, I really like smoky looks recently. And I noticed that all of my smoky tutorials have become really popular and they're always really popular in January and February for some reason. I think it's all because <laughs> because we're all really tired and like drained. So we all kind of are using the excuse to be like, now it's a smoky eye when really maybe our eyes are just kind of tired looking. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Lancome mascara. This is the Doll Eyes. You know what I like about this mascara is that it's really tapered. It's like a Christmas tree kind of a thing, but it's really tapered and you can get right to the edge. And some brushes claim to do this, but this is the only brush that I think actually does do this because it's really tapered right at the tip. But like you can get like right, right to the edge. It's really awesome. I do have a little bit of that lash primer on already though. So that definitely helps with the build. If you're the type that like, if you apply two coats of mascara, it tends to just go all clumpy on you you need to get the, the clear mascara first because honestly, the difference it makes is amazing. Apply a little bit of bronzer because I do have some fake tan on my neck and I need to kind of help my face blend a little better. Also add in more 3D-ness because that foundation can look quite flat and then you need to add in a little bit extra. You can probably tell. That's what I need to do right now because I can tell by looking at myself. So I'm gonna take the F43, which is the flat top brush, and then I'm gonna take the hula bronzer. And I'm just taking it on one side of the brush. Don't dip the brush in, kind of push it in so you just get the bottom part. And I'm pushing upward. So I want this to kind of hit my cheek and then the, the part with the bronzer to kind of hit the hollow. And then I'm gonna push it upwards. Wow, that went on a lot more than I thought it was gonna go on. Typically I wouldn't use a bronzer for um, contour, but sometimes you can kind of get away with it. Sometimes, so I'm just, that's why I'm doing it today because I'm, I'm being a bit lazy and I don't want to go and get like an actual contour. I'm kind of bringing it up over the cheeks. So 
So it's kind of turning into like a bronzer contour duo. And if you feel like it's too much, you can always just take a little bit of your powder, which I need to do, and just tap over it. And that'll kind of camouflage a little bit. I'm also gonna bring it up around my hairline. Take a little bit just through the crease of the eye and kind of swirling this on this outer edge. I'm gonna take the Mary Luminizer on the F36 and just tap this just up here. I want a little, a little bit of glow. Nothing, nothing too crazy. And then just to finish off, I'm just gonna take, uh, this is Pillow Talk blush, the F41. And this actually has like a little bit of shimmer inside and then it's, I think it's like matte around the edges, but I really like this. I really like this blush. And I don't even like blush, but I like this blush. It's got that classic Charlotte Tilbury tone to it, you know? I think you can always just tell all of their lipsticks and all that kind of stuff. They just have this this particular shade and it's so recognizable. I can just see it from a mile away. Um, for the lips, I'm gonna be using Jen's lip collection. Is it a lip collaboration or collection that she had with Ofra? This is in the shade Revive and it's the pale shade. Honestly, genius, genius collection. I'm gonna probably misquote this, but I think the three shades are like shades that you can customize and add to your other existing shades in order to make them better. Did I explain that? <laughs> Terribly, yes. Um, so say if you have a lipstick that's too dark, you can just add in a little bit of this and it will lighten it for you. I just love just tapping a little bit of this on with a lip primer, actually, sorry, a lip liner. I'm gonna put the lip liner on first. What am I doing? Got too excited there. I'm going to set. Use my setting spray. I've never used a spray so much. This is <laughs> this is just used far too much. I love it a bit too much. I'll I'll leave it kind of settle and then I'll I'll come back and show you. I just want to grab a, a lip liner and some lashes. It just means it's really hard to find really good lip liners. I just went to the drawer and I was just testing like a bunch of them and they're always like either too like brown and dark or they're too pink. But I found a good one. This is the gel lip liner, fair to comment. It's not like, it's not too light or too dark. It's not too pink or too kind of brown. It's kind of somewhere in between. I'm gonna pop that on. Yeah, it's, it's nice. But you know what's gonna improve it? Jen, Jen is gonna improve it. I'm gonna tap a little bit of this on. Then I'm going to apply some lashes. These are Kiss So Wispy Lashes in Two. I want to do this off camera because um, you're too far away to see anything. Either. So we'll be back. I can't believe they just li literally just popped on because the shape is so, so perfect. But they're really good. And now I can actually take my rollers out. But that is my morning routine. Hair, bath, makeup, and then I'm ready to start my day. Looks amazing. As always. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. We'll link everything in the description box because Davey's been doing all the links recently. So if he's missed anything, let him know. <laughs> um, to everybody in the chat, bye. I'll hopefully talk to you guys really soon. Eyelash keeps catching my hair. Okay, bye.